the forums, the streamers, the blogs, the gamer, the tweets, the streamers, the role players, the player, the forums, the bad, the blogs, the good, the enthusiast, the spotlight, the spotlight, the spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening and welcome to the Spotlight. Yes, welcome to the Spotlight on Blizz Pro TV. Uh, we cover everything under the Blizzard big huge umbrella. Uh, World of Warcraft, uh, Diablo 3, Starcraft 2, Hearthstone. Uh, we'll be covering some of their upcoming stuff as soon as they actually decide to bring them out for us to play with. That's right. uh, but let's get this show going. Uh, so first we have the uh, long-awaited arrival of the Mumble Queen herself. Sosa, how you been? I'm good. Hello, my lovelies. Did you miss me? It's been <laughs> a long two weeks. I missed you. <laughs> and Sosa's been drinking, obviously. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and uh, that wonderful masculine voice you hear is our uh, leader of the free thinkers everywhere, Geeky. How's it going, Geeky? It's going. I'm still having some webcam difficulty, so you get to look at my lovely photo again this week. Well, let's hope uh, people don't start accusing you of winking at them again. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> no kidding. And as for me, I'm uh, Daryl, and I'm the wheelman for this clown car. Um, so, uh, you know, we just got done with the holidays. Uh, we survived. Yay. Um, that's always a good thing. Yes. Um, you know, overall, I think, uh, you know, it was, it was a good time <laughs> for all of us to get a little break last week. Uh, you know, just relax and finish out the holidays, uh, you know, and prepare for the new year that we have here. Uh, five days into it, and uh, I may actually be iced into my house tomorrow, so we'll see. Um, <laughs> yes, got to love uh, negative 50-degree temperatures yeah. on the way. Uh, but uh, thinking of, uh, you know, bad stuff going on, uh, Geeky, what, what's, what's been going on with uh, th this nasty virus we've been hearing about? So there was a fairly serious Trojan going around. Uh, within the last couple of weeks, it's been affecting PC um, WoW users only, and uh, it was identified on the forums. And uh, there was an initial post that was asking for some more information from people that have been affected by this Trojan. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's a lot of discussion and a lot of really helpful information that had been passed around within the community. And then there was a secondary post that had been. Um, updated um, shortly after by Caltonis, who's the support forum agent for Blizzard. Mm -hmm. And um, they pretty much said that there was a kind of a dummy version of Curse Client that was um, that was kind of the carrier for this this Trojan file. And people were, you know, all these people were, were taking this false version of Curse Client. And that's how this Trojan was getting in. And it didn't matter whether or not they had an authenticator or not. They were still being affected. Right. by this Trojan. And so um, I saw a lot of, not just on this forum post, but on Twitter as well, I saw a lot of reaction like, oh, well, we thought authenticators were like the shield that were supposed <laughs> to protect us from all the bad, creepy things that go bump in the night. And now we have this Trojan that's wormed its way into the community through something that a lot of people use, which is Curse Client. Yep. And mm -hmm. so now there's some eyebrows being raised all Spock like about, you know, what's what's this this whole process now. But uh thankfully they were able to identify what was going on and uh mm -hmm. they have a good fix on there. Uh just you know, deleting that false client um yes. seems to be the seems to be the quick fix there and uh um yeah, so it's good that they found it, definitely good, but it, it definitely does raise some 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 questions about the whole process now and you know the, the blizzard's been talking about curse um the curse client program for years mm -hmm. about how it's you know it's your own risk and right. people have had a lot of problems with with curse in the past because um you know everyone it's such a convenience factor right and mm -hmm. they, they want to take it because you know oh i can just get my add and add-ons with a click and you know it's really easy and you know hackers are seeing that and there you go well, I mean, a lot of raid leaders, you know, require you to have certain add-ons, you know, DBM or mm -hmm. 
um, recount or scada, you know, to, to keep track of damage or healing meters uh, while you're going through the fights. Um, I personally uh, would not survive as long as I do in a raid without GTFO. Right. <laughs> um, I get te- I get healer tunnel vision, and uh, you know I, I forget I'm standing in bad. Uh, yeah. So having the big alarm in my ear telling me, uh, yeah, you need to move. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. a good idea. Yeah, um, yeah it's true. It's you true. know, but uh, you know, anybody can create a false website. Um, oh yeah, which which oh, is yeah. really what this is is they spoofed Curse's website made it look real uh, and had people downloading a client that kind of looked like it do the same thing but mm-hmm. it yeah, there was a link i think that people were yeah. being directed to that right that, and, and mm. that's why you know I, I mean they always it's always said you know don't just click on a random link you know go to the site itself take a look at a lot of legitimate sites i mean they have the little uh, like if you you know look at you know twitch TV. They've got their little logo right in the search bar. Mm-hmm. Right. And Curse will have a logo and, and other companies will have logos. And that lets you know that that's a legitimate site. Yeah. Um, right. You know, I, I remember way back, uh, the, there used to be the, the PayPal uh, scams. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I think they're still going on. <laughs> yeah, you'd, yeah, you'd get probably. the emails and, and they'd be like, oh, yeah, you, you there's a problem with your account. You need to log in and here's a link. Yeah. Yeah, don't go to any links that are in your email unless you know for a fact it's coming from the right site. Like, if you've asked for a site to send you an authenticated link, then that's okay. But if a, you get a random email from whatever saying, you know, to use this, never touch that link. Yep. But the big thing is, is that some people are like, oh, blah, 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 the authenticator is supposed to protect us from everything. Well, you've, Not when they, it's on your computer. <laughs> Yeah, right. that too, but you've got to think about this. There have been, I can only think of maybe three max mm-hmm. things that have come out that have affected the people with authenticators. Three, and how many years has the authenticator been out? Since Wrath? No, it was, no. Uh, wasn't it? Well, I don't think, was it was it Wrath? It no, was Wrath. it was Wrath. I got it in Dollar. I had my oh, uh, right. crown cup in Dollar N. That's right. Yeah, it, it, it was Wrath. Yeah. It was. Okay. It was so it's, yeah, so it's been out for three full, three, at least two and a half, maybe three full expansions now. Right. And there have only been three attacks that I can remember hearing about that, you know, affected people with authenticators. There have been lots of other people who get their accounts hacked regularly. Mm-hmm. Sure. But there's only been three times that it's been able to affect the authenticators, so... It's still an excellent track record just because this one Trojan came out that affected some people who downloaded a, a Trojan mm-hmm. is no reason to freak out and throw your authenticators away. It's still a huge, huge benefit. Like I've known people who didn't get the authenticator and they've had their accounts hacked mm-hmm. eight, nine times now. So, you know, I've had my authenticator and I've never gotten my account hacked once. I admittedly, I always keep my antivirus and everything up to date right. to try and protect myself that way but still mm-hmm. I don't think that uh, people need to be too worried about the authenticators people are going to try and find ways to get around it but it takes something like this like making a fake client that you have to download onto your computer in order to get around your authenticator and not a lot of people are going to do that because a lot of people are going to either be smart about it mm-hmm. or they're going to already have the client mm-hmm. right so it's not a huge thing. Yeah. I'm not I'm not worried about I'm not gonna be getting rid of my authenticator anytime soon. Right. And you know, I I have one on my phone, but like like most um issues within the community, there's there's like polar opposites. There's never like mm-hmm. a middle ground that people like to take, yeah. like a balance. It's always like they're freaking out or they're like, Yeah, you know. Yeah. So um so th- there was there was a lot of good feedback after that second post, you know, people being, mm-hmm. you know, like, oh, thanks for being so diligent and stuff like that. And it's, it's good right. to see that there was some positive reinforcement into the into the issue, because, I mean, I think the community needs to see that. And I think the mods need to see that, too, the, the devs. Um, so I think I think it's good. And I, there wasn't really a whole lot of wasn't a whole lot of middle ground, like I said, Um and I didn't really see anyone go off the handle and like say, "Oh, Blizzard's the biggest," you know, blah blah blah. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't anything too bad. So I was I was really pleased with the outcome of, right. of this. At least the response was 
was good. Well, there was some good mixed in there. Um, yeah, it didn't sound like it was a huge outbreak. No, like it sounded like they they found out about it very quickly and were able to put the word out so people were very careful and they were able to deal with it so quickly like by the time the second uh, post came out Mm -hmm. they had already said that um, certain they'd already sent all the information along to most of your standard uh, antivirus suppliers Mm -hmm. so they would all be having updates that would check for this and clear it so some people were even like you know I didn't touch wow because I didn't want to accidentally give get my account hacked and oh now it's updated and lo and behold my antivirus found this thing and got rid of it for me so you know that's you know they they did very quick work and they were very thorough and people knew about it and were very cautious which was fantastic yeah Yeah, really it it wasn't a big outbreak no you have seen but really the the moral of the story is you know make sure that uh, you're not just clicking on a random link, um, you know, that, that you're actually going to the legitimate site, um, you know, and, uh, you know, and that goes for anything um, because any type of virus could, could get in there uh, into your computer and, and take, you know, who knows what. I mean, a lot of people have password keychains and other things stored on their computers. Um, you know, it, it's just better to be safe than sorry. You know, make sure you're going to a legitimate site. If you get a random email saying, hey, there's a problem with this or that, um, don't click on the link. Go straight to the site. And usually, you know, customer service will be the first to tell you, uh, yeah, we don't send that kind of stuff out. Right. Mm-hmm. It's true. I, I know I know. after <laughs> when I heard about this like a week and a half ago or a week ago, I remember mm-hmm. like getting like that paranoid like stoner feel like, can I can I load <laughs> DBM on my account? Like, is, like, is that is that okay? Because I, I just started leveling another character last week. Mm-hmm. And so like... I feel like it's the most like minimalistic I've ever played. It's like I have <laughs> two add-ons and they're so minor. It's like it's so vanilla feel. It's like retro. It's it's such a great feeling, <laughs> but at the same time, I look on I look on all these forum UI uh, sections and all these websites, and it's like people have like everything. It's like a a plethora of add-ons, mm-hmm. like more add-on than game. And right? Like, how how? So I got yeah. I got a little scared. I'm slowly starting to add more slowly. Uh, you know, but like, like, like you guys were saying, you know, it's, it's, you know, Blizzard was on top of it. Um, they, they got, you know, information, gave it to the appropriate people to make sure that, you know, everybody is safe and protected. Um, you know, and that's a good thing. So, mm-hmm. I mean, it's a horrible scare. It's a horrible thing that happened to some people, but, uh, you know, at least they caught it quick. Um, yeah. you know, uh, but, you know, really, you know, because of the holidays, uh, there hasn't been a whole lot, uh, you know, newsworthy going on so the community hasn't really been you know chatting it up uh, about a whole bunch of stuff um but we do have some interesting stuff going on with uh the expansion that we've heard about uh sosa why don't you uh tell us a little bit about what's going on well i was browsing the world of warcraft forums as i do and i found this really interesting blue post Mm -hmm. and i believe it was made by lore Mm -hmm. and what it is is it's talking about raid finder versus flex Mm -hmm. what they wanted it to be and what it's what they're hoping to make it in warlords of draenor Mm -hmm. they wanted lfr to be that place where someone who didn't have a a steady schedule and couldn't get like a steady group Mm -hmm. could get into fairly easily and be able to do the content but they also wanted it to be for the people who don't want all the effort right of the the full raids to be able to go through and kind of sightsee mm-hmm. what these mm-hmm. things are so that's where the biggest problems have come is because they can't seem to get those two groups to quite match up mm-hmm. and that's where all the biggest problems are coming in lfr from people saying it's too easy and them having to tone it down and other people saying it's too hard and them having to add in things like a uh, determination buff and things like that so you know it's kind of they're having a hard time mixing that and that's what the biggest complaints about lfr have been so they added in the flex which is you know it's winged just like lfr so you it's not you're not going to be stuck in it for hours but you have to have a, a certain group but it can be a flexible amount of people right the loot is all distributed to different people so you can kind of pug it with people from your realm so, you know, you don't have to worry about loot ninjas or anything like that. It's all your own loot. Right. Sure. 
but it's got that that more difficult flavor to it you know that mm -hmm. a lot of the people want and lfr is they're trying to make more of the sightseer but people are still doing both of them and complaining about the sightseer type who don't mm -hmm aren't able to or aren't willing to put in all the effort and you know so they're they're still having that trouble flexing it mixing the two but they're hoping to in warlords of Draenor, flex has turned out to be such a popular thing they want to open it up more and give it the the system very similar to oq mm -hmm. uh right. so that way you can you can get p get a pickup group from all over the different realms mm -hmm. by using this system so it's kind of like a pickup group but it's people who are willing to get into it mm -hmm. and you mm -hmm. can you know kind of remove them and add them as you choose whereas there's still going to be lfr mm -hmm. for the people who you know just want to go in there and just you know like just kind of roll through everything because it's very silly very silly right so they're hoping to get all that fixed up and they they really are emphasizing the flex like i think flex is pretty much becoming everything now right but they're they're just adjusting the the whole flexible uh the, how the bosses react with different amounts of people in it but i think a lot of people are agreeing that flex is absolutely fantastic and the fact that they're <laughs> focusing on it so much is mm -hmm. going to be really really good but they haven't quite decided what they're doing with lfr yet right i mean They've been no trying to figure that out sure since, you... since, you know, yeah. DS. Let's be honest. They don't, yeah, they they've, they've they been don't trying know. to figure it out. They don't it, know. It's, it's, well, now that they've taken that group that, you know, if now that Flex is kind of taking some of those people out of LFR, mm -hmm. they're hoping that that'll make it a little bit easier to make LFR what they wanted LFR to be. But the problem is, is that we've got all the people who are going in for the gearing purposes. So what right. some people are right. saying is they need to lower the gear thresh, lower the gear gotten on LFR. And they're not sure what they're going to do, but that's what some people are suggesting they do is lower what gear you get on LFR in order to make sure that the people doing flex aren't going to view LFR as that leap to flex. So they have right. to go through and quote unquote carry people mm -hmm. who are just there to sightsee. So it's it's interesting, and they're looking for. They want to give people what they want and how they're able to get it. Not everyone has the time or ability to commit to a raid team, so that's what the flexible is mm -hmm. supposed to be. And the LFR is for the people who can't commit, but they just want an easy time. They just want to run through, see what they can get, maybe get a nice shiny tier set that see the looks cinematics. Pretty. You don't yeah. see the cinematics though. A lot of the cinematics and lore things you don't actually see in LFR or Flex. I just got to Wing 2 with my raid team on uh, Normals, mm -hmm. and I didn't realize that between Wing 1 and Wing 2, there's actually a little part on a boat where you're listening to Sylvanas and Lorthamar talk. Oh, okay. So I was like, oh, that's really interesting. So for me, that's why I'm really excited about normals. And I'm kind of disappointed that you don't get that in Flex. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you didn't see the cinematics in uh, LFR in uh, Throne of Thunder either. Right. I didn't see those till I went in in normal. So it, it's kind of sightseeing, but at the same time, it's kind of not. So I'm a little disappointed about that. Hey, you know, but if you want to be able to say you did the end content, you know. Yeah, if you want to be able to say you did the boss, you fought the boss, you mm -hmm. got to see what happens in the boss, and you got to see the little discussions that go on during the boss scenes and after them. Mm -hmm. So right. that's really what LFR is for. <laughs> They're hoping to make it, it sounds like. So I think I think it's funny that that Flex is has been received as well as it has because I remember for um, for the, the fourth Twizcast opening back in the summer, I did a video, my interview video for that was about Flex. And I, I gave it such a negative, like, prediction. Mm -hmm. Like, it was kind of balanced, <laughs> but I was, like, really, like, skeptical about it. That I'm, mm -hmm. I'm glad that I could eat my own words six months later because it's good to see things take off in the community um, in a positive way. And mm -hmm. I'm, glad that, I'm glad that people are enjoying it and that there's a niche of, of people out there that can... Um, uh, partake in that every week, and you know mm -hmm. I've I've definitely um, been one of those people on alts. I think it's great, but I I think that we we've definitely talked about how it's you know it it's hard to get into flex because you have to do LFR for the gear. Like right. it's not it's not like a two it's not like a, a two way. You know like you can go A or B. It's like you have mm -hmm. to go through LFR before you can do this, and so there's still that that overlap of traffic. 
And so... Well, I mean, it, but that's what the player base has done. I mean, well, right, yeah. right. you know, it's it, it's the same thing with, you know, okay, we got rid of gear score and now we have eye level. Mm -hmm. um, and they're treating it the same way. You know, it's, it's well, if you don't have this eye level, then you can't do this or you can't do that. Um, I, I mean, it's it's the, the community looks for some way to create those boxes. Uh, yeah. And, it, you know, it, it's, it is what it is. Um, and I'm sure with, you know, any, any adjustments that Blizzard makes, uh, the community will once again find a way to put it in boxes. Uh, oh, yeah. And, and some and, of those boxes are ridiculous. Like, you that's... Know, make the gateways and yeah right right you know and then it's what it is it's it's player imposed gateways um and you know it, it is what it is but you know what if uh you're not able to do a raid team because you can't commit to the time because of the crazy schedule i mean done retail for years it's mm -hmm. hard to to tell mm -hmm. your boss you know hey i gotta have these two nights off well why uh raid you know you can't <laughs> tell them that you know you're like oh i got stuff going on i mean it's you know i, I got family Lie and stuff. say you're on a baseball team there you go you know i have uh, bowling league on those two yeah. nights i mean honestly i did that with my parents it was funny they they, <laughs> they were always like why can't you uh, why are you always gone on these nights why are you always unavailable i'm like oh i um have uh you know board game night with my friends you know we all go and we play board games Right. Yeah. Yes. Right. <laughs> I was reading. Dot, dot, dot. You know? Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it, it's just one of those things, you know, you can't always commit to a raid team, um, you know, especially if you've got, a, you know, kids or, or other things, you know, it's not always possible. Yeah. So, uh, you know, having something like Flex available um, as an option, you know, besides just being LFR or regular raiding yeah. uh, is really, really nice um, because you can still do stuff with your guildies. Yeah, uh, or your buddies. A, mm -hmm. It's a guild or a friend situation, very similar to like mm -hmm. regular rating, but on a, a simpler scale where you don't need like the high end gear and mm -hmm. you can maybe stand in the fire for that extra two seconds because you don't register right away that GTFO is yelling at you to get out of the fire list. So, you know, yeah, and it's not going to kill you <laughs> right away. <laughs> Whoa. You, can, you Whoa. can stand in that fire that extra two seconds and heal through it without having to worry about getting out that second. Like yeah. you would say in normals. Right. So, oh, yeah. You know, it's the mechanics it gives you that bit of freedom. Down. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, the mechanics are definitely dumbed down, uh, you know, for both. But, uh, you know, uh, and we've all seen what happens in LFRs when somebody says, oh, we don't need to worry about the mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, four yeah. wipes in a row and you're like, uh, Whoops. no, really? You need to worry about the mechanic. And then you try to tell the tank what to do and they're like, no, no, no. I know what I'm doing. I've done it this no. way hundreds of times. <laughs> yeah. I know how to do this. You're like. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh -huh. That's why we're all determination. <laughs> it's an awkward silence. It is. It's that whole uh yeah. yeah. About that. Yeah. Um so uh yay for you know changes and updates uh that Blizzard's gonna be doing. I uh, can't wait to see uh what more information they come out with as far as the whole rating tier thing. Mm -hmm. Um uh, for okay. the new expansion. Um, but thinking of the new expansion, uh, we have a ton of untold story sitting in front of us. Oh, yes. Um, and there is, of course, tons and tons of speculation um, on what we are going to be doing. I, I still say we should get a TARDIS, but uh, that's just <laughs> me. Uh, but but apparently Blizzard, Blizzard has said very, very strongly it is not about time travel. No, it's not. Yeah. It's it, in a way it is, but we're not doing the time traveling. The one who did the time traveling was Garrosh. Right, and we're so, not talking right. about him. Yeah, we're we're reaching we're going to the present of another dimensions version of Draenor that Garrosh went back in time, went to there and stopped them from drinking the blood of Manor or they stopped he stopped the uh the, the demonic corruption mm -hmm. somehow, right. whether it was the blood of Manoroth, whether it was stopping them from listening to Kill Jaden, mm -hmm. uh, whatever he did, I'm still not 100% sure what happened on it, but it, we're, we're not going back in time. We're going to the present of what would have happened to Draenor had they not done this. Right. But plus, Garrosh is there and God only knows what he's up to. Right. It's, it's a parallel universe. 
Yeah, yeah, it's a parallel universe. It's like one of those what if episodes from mm -hmm. various shows. You know, what if this happened? Yeah, I agree. So. And Rodimus just said in chat that it's a Back to the Future alternate timeline stuff. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. I wish I could yeah. find the scene from Back to the Future 2 where Doc is in, like, the garage and he's got the broken chalkboard and he's doing <laughs> the, the chalk stuff because it's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. It's exactly what it is. And I'm glad he brought it up because, yes. I've never seen Back to the Future. Oh, what? my gosh. Go, go after this. Go, go find it, it somewhere. I'm not no, supporting no. illegal downloading no. or anything, but I'm just saying go find it somewhere. It's so good. Go, go, go find it and watch it. All three of them. Watch They're movies. all good. They're all good. I don't watch movies. Um, watch YouTube. But yeah, it's it's an alternate timeline situation, and and uh, people need to keep that in the back of their minds mm -hmm. while they're processing. Because I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot to swallow. You know, it's a lot mm -hmm. to take in, and um, it's such a departure from what they've they've always done. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like it. it but then again. It's so science fictiony, but so is Wrath. But so is uh, Burning Crusade. It was very right. science fictiony. So right. they're kind of bringing that back, and they're just kind of throwing it at us in a different direction. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just going to be really interesting. And it's also a way the lore buffs in us have always wanted to know more about mm -hmm. specific characters. This is their right. way of kind of giving us that, you know? Right. They're they're yeah. they're they're giving us all that stuff for the the people who want to know about uh, Gromash, the people who want to know about Doomhammer, the people who want to know about you know Grom before mm -hmm. he mm -hmm. did all this stuff he did. You know, it, a lot of people are very excited to learn all about this. Um, I can't remember Thrall's daddy's name, but uh, him. You know, yeah. And Duratan? it's going to be interesting to learn Duratan. That's it should know that but it's also interesting to learn more about the duranai because we really don't know much about them in their history and things like that so you know it'll be interesting to learn a little bit more about mm -hmm. them yeah right. whose fault is that blizzard <laughs> well what little we do know about them is probably more than we'll ever know about no lore which is you know makes a lot of people upset including myself but <laughs> um hopefully they get their turn that's my little yeah, segue we'll see. into that but yeah we'll we'll see I mean, the notes, notes have their lore. It's just kind of <laughs> it's just not it's patchy. It's like, all right, here's a burst of lore for an expansion. See you in five years. You know, like that's yeah, exactly how Blizzard does their their lore with the with the quote unquote minor races. You know, the non human <laughs> orc races. <laughs> well, well, and 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 for gnomes, you know, it's every lore explanation is interspersed with various explosions. So, <laughs> all right, exactly. I don't know. Yes. I'm playing it's a gnome hard, right now, so I just want to. I want to see more lore. <laughs> I want to see yeah. more lore. No, it, it, everyone does want it. No, I mean, and that was, I think, one of the the biggest complaints with with Burning Crusade is, you know, the we found out all this stuff about the Blood Elves, mm -hmm. and the Blood Elves had had all this really great stuff, and they still have good stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're still talking about things. They're still doing things. And what Their happened? Their leader has become really interesting. And what That's what's true. happened to the space goats? Right. Like seriously, like uh, Drenai. They fixed uh, their ship, but they like, didn't okay. Leave. They're, they're <laughs> bad pilots. Uh, I mean, <laughs> there's they no, aren't bad pilots. It was the Blood Elves. They're they're bad pilots, and they uh, didn't drink. They're the not bad pilots, and they didn't drink the Kool Aid. <laughs> there you go. So they're That's not it. evil. You know, I'm really <laughs> interested to see like. Um, not necessarily about people, but well, I mean, kind of people, but more like places. And I know like the geography is all different because, oh, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. a lot of things didn't happen. So I want to know like, where's like Serpent Shrine in all, you know, in the, in this alternate, you know, like, where's that? Cause that's like under, you know, it's under a lake, which isn't on the map. I don't think on this new map, it's, I think it's under water like well, right. the entirety of zangra marsh is literally an ocean now right so i want to know like where's that so, you know th th there's just little things of like that because i because i just did i just did all the burning crusade on, on this new character and i'm just like man where is this gonna be because <laughs> yeah i mean it's interesting yeah, to think a about of interesting things yeah well if you want some really cool uh comparisons uh awaiting the muse blog um on wordpress um uh, it's uh they're uh, catch up lore uh, for Warlords of Draenor, and uh, they have some really cool pictures. Uh, it's the stuff that Blizzard put out at BlizzCon uh, mm -hmm. of their concept art, along with uh, shots uh, of before and after. Yep, of, of Burning Crusade. So that expansion and, and the same spot. So you get to see like uh, Ashen Dune 
you know, as it is mm -hmm. in the expansion, we all all know oh, and love. And then, Ash and then the concept art of Ash and Dune not being a ruin. Oh, I can't wait. I just posted a link to that to too. I just posted oh, thank you. Um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, so, but it's. I mean, so it's a really good comparison. Think about it. Uh, it was a good, it was a good read. I enjoyed reading yeah. it quite a bit. Um, and they put in some videos and stuff that you know uh, were were done and, and other things you know from from various places uh, with lore stuff, uh, concept art. It, it was really a, a very well done uh, blog post. So uh, awaiting the muse, awesome job on that. Mm -hmm. um, really, really gave us a, a, a good look at at the comparison. Like I said, I love the before and after screenshots. Those were great. Um, and then uh, obstructedviews.net uh, had their whole uh, initial thoughts on Warlords of Draenor lore, and you know they were the ones that reminded, uh, you know, it's not a time travel story. Mm -hmm. right. Invasion of the Kitty Cats. Yes, Invasions of the Kitty Cats. Uh, yeah, it, what was interesting about them is they were asking about how certain people would react when they met other things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, like, how would people react meeting each other? Or how would Thrall react going through and, say, meeting his father for the first time? Or Doomhammer, whom he actually carries the weapon to. Right. You know? So what would it be like like that? But I think Blizzard already answered some of those questions. Mm -hmm. Right. Because they said specifically they weren't sending any doubles to meet each other mm -hmm. and they i think that they're specifically going to avoid stuff like that to not corrupt or damage this world sure because we're only going there to because garrosh is opening the way up to invade us again with the old orcs with the old orcs with what he considers to be his true horde because right. our horde wasn't strong enough for him so I think they're purposely going to be avoiding that. And some people say it's lame, but it kind of makes sense when you look at it from the alternate dimension, time travel, mm -hmm. wib wibbly wobbly, whatever the Doctor <laughs> Who uh, sentence is. Timey wimey. That, whatever that is. I haven't seen that either. Don't get on my case. I'm not. <laughs> I'm talking to the chat. But... <laughs> uh... <laughs> But no, it's, it, I think they're purposely going to be avoiding that. Um, it is going to be interesting to see how it's going to turn out. And they've already said, uh, oh God, Kargath? I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. The wizard. Mm -hmm. They said he's going to be involved in this, which is super exciting. I haven't. I want to see more of him in action because mm -hmm. him just sitting around... Uh, Shatrath was boring as heck. This is no the guy kidding. who actually faced yes. down the deep. No kidding. Please take us on a tour of the city for five minutes and talk to us about, you know, like, because yeah, that, that was the only way you could pick a faction back then. That was the only way you could pick a faction. That's called his retire, his post retirement job. Yeah, the only thing he <laughs> He's had, the, the greeter. He, he became a Walmart greeter. He became a Walmart greeter. He did. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see him actually in action. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited about that. Yep. And seeing some of these other people, it'll be really interesting just to meet some of these people, see some of these people, and really learn more about these different lore characters, even though they may be acting different because this is how many years of them going through a different timeline. Mm -hmm. So they're not the same people. Right. Nurzul is probably not the same guy he was in our dimension as he would be in this dimension because he didn't go insane because it killed Jaden and do all this other stuff and become the Lich King, blah blah blah. Uh Cadgar, that's it. Thank you. Yes, Cadgar. Yeah, didn't sound right for some reason. Yeah, Car <laughs> I I knew Cardgar was, was a K. something. Was yeah, a I think K it's Nor yeah. Town. I think it's North Town. Uh Yes, but I mean, all of these is going to be really, <laughs> it's more of a crime not to see Back of the Future than to not see Doctor Who. I agree. I told you people would mess with me for saying that. But yeah, yeah no, it's very interesting. It's going to be very cute to see what they're going to do with all of these different uh, characters and to see what they're going to do with this lore because they have free reign with this. Yes, they do. Like, they, like uh, it's very similar to uh, to Mists. They had free reign to do, make up the lore, do whatever they want with it, and give it the free hand. And that really led us to some interesting stuff, like oh, yeah. the Celestials and the uh, the Shaw and mm -hmm. things like that. And now we get to do it again on another planet, you know? But with, with races we're a little more familiar with, they're not going to mm -hmm. seem quite so alien, but they're going to be acting in ways we aren't expecting. Right. So I think it's going to be just a fascinating 
lore expansion personally. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm interested to see what they do with it, and, and as they release more information, uh, you know, to tease us and, and intrigue us. Um, I'm also interested to see what the community's reaction is going to be. I mean, of course, there's mm-hmm. going to be the haters. You know, there's going to yeah. be people who are going to try and say that somehow, some way, whatever Blizzard is doing is totally against the canon they've already set. <laughs> um, you know, uh, come on, you know, uh, let's give That's them a chance. That's why they put it in a different dimension. Well, right. You know, it <laughs> can be different. Canon. It's in a different dimension. That's right. It, it's it's not different canon. It's uh, canon for that that world that version of that world Mm -hmm. um no it's it's, it'll be really interesting to see what the community has to say um the biggest complaints are going to be from the people who say lore doesn't matter the story doesn't matter they just want to kill the big bad and people are saying if it's garrosh again they're going to hunt down blizzard employees oh they're gonna rage and quit blah 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 it won't even be they've said it won't be him at all no it won't be him he'll be dealt with Probably, actually, it would be really funny as if he's not even dealt with by us, but he's dealt with by one of the old orcs for doing something that's against their ways. He thinks exactly. he's. I, I would love that. He's I am the real not, war chief, and yeah, he's, he's. I, I am. I'm going to be upfront. I am not a Garrosh fan. I no. never have been. He is the reason. Uh, some of his people and what they do, from everything from Wrath to Kata to all of that, it just it. I hate him. And I hate what he likes, what he what he stands for. Mm-hmm. And so I'm really hoping he gets like one of those. Uh, oh God, I can't think at all today, but I want him to see, you know, say that I am I am this war chief. This mm-hmm. is what the horde stands for. And someone to say the horde doesn't stand for that and strike him down for what right. he thinks the horde stands for that. It turns out they don't stand for. I want right. to see I want to see the classic uh, Ragnaros. Uh, major domo executus style death where it's just a little oh, pew laser just takes him out yeah, that's yeah, what i want to so see something so pitiful like that for a character back, like yeah. him because he yeah. i don't like him either personally um, no it'd be like the the little gnome uh in in the the trial of the crusader where he yes. summons the demon and the demon just blasts him into oblivion yeah yeah, oh, yeah. storm what's his name Millhouse yeah, yeah storm or yeah like that, no not no, not Mil- no it wasn't Millhouse. it was um Wiz something yeah, part of the W. I want to say. Oh, Wizbang. I know. I know you're talking about. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but he summons. But yeah, it was Lord Jaraxxus. Yeah, right. And, and he's like, "You have no power over me, Smite," and he's dead. You're yes. like, "Oops." Yeah. <laughs> they actually have the gnomes going on about how he's so almighty and powerful. That's right. You know, very much like Millhouse. It's easy to understand how you'd mistake the two. All talk Stereotype. and no action. Those darn gnome stereotypes. It's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. Makes me cry now. But I want to see that happen in Garage. I, I really yeah, do. Yeah, I, I want to see him be like, yeah. "Yeah, I, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the true war chief. I'm the leader." That, like, uh, no, no, you're not. <laughs> I think it'd be cool if, if Duratan was the one to do it. Would be the one to strike him down. Like, I think that'd be really cool because Durotan. it seems like it seems like when Thrall and, and Garrosh have like fought over like all over all these years. Like, I think like two or three times. Like, it, it's always like Garrosh usually has the advantage, and we saw at the end of. Uh, the current tier, you know, they have that little spat, and Garrosh is obviously a little more powerful in that situation. Um, I'd love to see Thrall's father, Duratan, just stick it to Garrosh. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. I think that'd be great. Yeah. Wiz Crank. Yes. Thank yes. you. Thank you, chat room. Thank you, Bim. Uh, <laughs> that was the name we were trying to think of. Um, masters, we just can't think of any names. Mm-mm. Yeah. Uh, but uh, no, it, it, I, I really, I, I mean, Thrall was okay, and then Blizzard just sort of like put him in big girl pants. Yeah, yeah. And it was like uh, Thrall, um, why are you wearing lacy underwear? Like, what's right. going on, dude? Right. <laughs> they had him take down his hair, grow a beard, and put on the brown robe. I mean, yeah. Guess what kind of symbolism they put him in there? I, I mm-hmm. liked Thrall, I really did, but I think that they made him too much of a Christ figure towards the end there. Yeah. And, you know, I was glad to see someone else take over, and I really, I'd like to, it'll be interesting to see what the new war chief does when this old or this different horde comes tramping through. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, we have you a know? correction. It was Wilfred Fizzlebang. Oh, there we go. Fizzle thank bang. you, thank you, Bim. Bim apparently thought it was wrong and so looked it up. So, uh, yeah. 
Well, we're, we're going on what you're saying, bud. So uh, thank you. We appreciate it. <laughs> this little bang sounds like a gnome who would summon Lord Jaraxxus and get his butt handed to him. Fizzle bang. Oh, he definitely fizzled at the end there. <laughs> <laughs> With a bang. Yes. In a couple ways. <sighs> yeah. But yeah, it's, you know, I, I, I hopefully they, they man thrall up a little bit. Uh, you know, we'll, just we'll leave see. Him as is. Just don't, just take him down and let him be lesser of a character. They've already, he's gone through his whole arc and then some so just you know drop mm. him quietly or just let him cheer from the sidelines and let right. some other people have a chance to have their arcs because uh i think some of, i think our new war chief is due for one and personally i'm super excited about what i'm seeing from lorthamar himself mm -hmm. so but uh anyway we've beaten this topic to death we have uh, much. But we, we do. have an email we do uh normally uh what we do is as everyone knows is we have our dear gamers segment where we read off emails or uh tweets uh things like that that people have sent in, uh usually an answer to a question we've posed to the community um it, however because of holiday stuff uh we did not get a question to the community however before christmas uh, one of our very good friends uh, and guildmates sent us this wonderful email, and I decided to save it to be a topic because it was such an interesting uh, idea. Interesting concept, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, Hi, Liz, Sosa, and Geeky. This is your favorite rogue friend, Reb. Let me first preface my email by saying that you guys are doing an amazing job so far, and I love tuning into your live stream. Well, thank you, Reb. Uh, she goes <laughs> on to say, uh, I don't know, Twitch is being twitchy, yeah. no pun intended, so I can't tell. Uh, I can't bring up the viewer list. Yeah, neither could I. She's, she, I don't think she's in here. Okay. She's, she's, oh wait, you know what? I think they're flexing. Oh. Uh, uh, we're going to have to have They're working out right now. They're flexing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, uh, she says, so I've been threatening to write y'all an email for quite some time. Oh wait, let me get the red voice on. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. So I've been threatening to write y'all an email for quite some time, and I finally got around to it. I wanted to speculate some speculations with some speculators. So one of the biggest announcements for Hearthstone at BlizzCon was the confirmation that we will be able to play the game on our tablets as well as smartphones. Knowing Smart the phones, Blizzard... Smartphones. Smartphones. <laughs> I'm trying. Tin. Tin. Right, so we go back to that. Um, no, I'm kidding, Reb. I love you. Um, She's not here. We can make uh, That's more. true. Uh, knowing that Blizzard is fully capable of working a simple game into compatible formats for these devices. I sound like Blanche from the Golden Girls. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I do declare. I do I'll declare. Make, make it <laughs> uh, do you think we will see other games slash mini games from Blizzard on these devices as well? I personally would be a huge advocate for playing pet battles on the go. Normally I keep my 3DS with me to play some Pokemon when I get free time, but should pet battles be accessible through smartphones, I would all but forget completely about my 3DS. Let me know your thoughts, Rebel Floor. Rebel Floor, yeah. Yay, it's Red, a good question. thank you. Yes, this is, this is an awesome question, which is why it's a topic. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Geeky, why don't you uh, start us off here with what you think? Oof. In the hot seat first. Um, you are. <laughs> I, you know, I think I think it's a good idea um, to expand upon the the mobile. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what you want to call it circle community or whatever platform. Uh, I, I think it'd be good. I think it's going to be really great uh, to be able to play on my phone to play Hearthstone on my phone in the near future. Hopefully, hopefully, knock on wood, um, because I, I think that accessibility is going to go a long way for them to get new people in um, mm -hmm. as well as make it easier for their existing fan base to, to play games that they like, like Hearthstone um, in terms of pet battles. I'm not really a big advocate of pet battles. Um, <laughs> and I'm kind of hesitant to say that. Like I tried it and I have some level 25. It's not pets for everybody. And, exactly. You know, it's just, it's just another side thing in the game that people can, you know, uh, spend time doing, but mm -hmm. it's, you know, I think it'd be fun. I mean, maybe I would try it again if I had, you know, that, convenience right um mm. it just I, I, they could probably market some new games in the future it would it'd probably be a real distant future before mm -hmm. they would do that because they just have so much else going on right now that i can't even imagine them tackling so i mean this is a pretty big undertaking i would think because oh, yeah. it's taking them so long to do hearthstone mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. on a mobile platform that 
My yeah. thing is just they need to get Hearthstone ready, period, before they even think about putting it out for a mobile right. platform. Right. I agree. So, uh, well, what about you, so? So, what do you what do you think about uh, Blizzard doing uh, mobile market uh, items? I think it could be if depending on how it's done, it could be fantastic. Like mm-hmm. Reb, I am a Pokemon fanatic. I am currently replaying Pokemon Black. Mm-hmm. Well, how long have we been podcasting? About 47 minutes. Mm-hmm. So I was playing about 49 minutes ago. Nice. <laughs> so I, you know, I love Pokemon. And the idea of being able to do that from a mobile device would actually be very interesting depending on how they do it. Mm-hmm. Would you just pretty much hop on and pick a zone, pick your team, and just mm-hmm. start randomly clicking around the map until you found a pet? Mm-hmm. I get, it, it depends on how they do that, but that could be an interesting thing. And it, they could do it for other other things as well. Um, possibly as an app instead of a game, they could do something with the transmog. Yeah. You could literally load in a yeah, character okay. and start looking through different gear and mm-hmm. mixing and matching it. And maybe even you could have a, uh, a, uh, a leaderboard where people post pictures of their, their transmogs that they've come up with and people vote whether they like it or not. I think they have something. I mean, there's some sites out there that do right that. There's sites, there's sites out there that do that, but could they you imagine that on a mobile market? Uh, you know, no, yeah. being able to just pick your character, dress right. it up how you like, and put it out there. Uh, something like that. I know a lot of transmog nuts like myself would enjoy being able to just sit there and fiddle with it without having to go to Wowhead mm-hmm. or use Mocket or something like that. You know, if you're just sitting on the bus and you're like, well, I wonder what this set would look like on this race and class mm-hmm. character and stuff like that. Yeah, that's um, interesting. That's a different idea. Um, I really, you, you really can't do something like that too well on a mobile device for, say, Diablo. Mm-hmm. So I'm not sure if you'd be able to pull something like that off for Diablo. And again, StarCraft and RTS, you'd have to really dumb it down for the mobile market if you right. wanted to. Like You'd have to make it much, much simpler, like limit yourself to so many. You're only allowed like 10 mobs at a time. <laughs> so right. well, 10 and, units. So. Well, and it, it also depends on, you know, what they're trying to do. But I mean, like, I was intrigued by her, her you know, the concept of, well, what if Blizzard put out... For, for your, your mobile devices, your tablets, your smartphones, mm-hmm. um, like a collection of mini games. Now, we know Blizzard has the capability of doing it. I mean, look at yeah. the Hinterlands, uh, the Hinterlands, uh, Hills, Hillsbrand, uh, Hills Hillsbrand Brand, Foothills, uh, the Plants vs. Zombies, uh, mini right. game. Yeah. yeah. Um, you Peace know, Bloom vs. Scourge. Yeah. And mm-hmm. you get the Singing Sunflowers, your quest reward for, for completing the chain mm-hmm. quest. Um, you know, so I mean, do stuff like that. Um, and I mean, they could even make a mini game out of it. Um, but if you play Horde side and you go through and you first enter that zone, uh, as you know, you're going through questing, um, one of the quest givers right there by the entrance way has you be a quest giver. Yes. Yeah. And they have the, the, the fake heroes coming by. Right. Uh, Welcome to the machine. I do remember that, yeah. Um, you know, uh, and, and they're all, you know, complete and total exaggerations of, of various, you know, player stereotypes. Uh, Dumb as. Uh, the, then there's the there's Johnny Star or... <laughs> yeah, this with his sparkle pony. Uh, the yeah, male. yeah. There's, I know uh, it's Johnny Awesome. Yes, Johnny, Johnny Awesome. awesome. There's, there's the orc uh, on, on his... Uh, Orcar, uh, Orcar yeah. the Kingslayer. Yeah, the big raider guy. Uh, I just did him. I just did those a little while ago. But yeah, it was dumb as, uh, with only one S. Yes. With only one S. Uh, Johnny, o- who was the 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 perpetual noob, mm-hmm. and then there was mm-hmm. Johnny Awesome, and then there was Orcar the Kingslayer with yep. his uh, frost dragon who yep. just completed all of the the Lich King stuff, and he's coming back to Old Hills, Brad, to do quests. Which was hilarious. I mean, yeah, yeah. what if they turn something like that into a mini game? Well, they could. I mean, there's there's little goofy, uh, like what is it? Uh, I think it's called a weird RPG. Uh, it's a little phone game, and basically you kind of click through 
and mm-hmm. you, pick, like, you pick certain quests. I could see you being able to pick uh, pick from a selection of quests to the random people that come up to you and give them the quests, and then hear how it turns out. Like if yeah. you get this really rude guy, you give him a quest that's like way over leveled, and watch him get trounced by it. And stuff right. Like I mean, that. that could almost be a choose your own adventure kind of story. You know, yeah. something that interactive that would be fun little mini game to play. Um, you know, uh, the, the, you know, their, their version of plants versus zombies. Uh, I'd like the carrot. I, I would like the carrot chess event. Oh yeah. In like That's a, true. in a mobile, that would be amazing. Because what if you, you do the, the chess event, event as a pass and play game? Right. I think that'd be cool. I think that'd be really neat. And you could have like different like chess piece sets with different skins so, on them. Pass and, and play is, is you, you can have multiple people play that are around you. Right. And you literally mm-hmm. pass your device from person to person as each person's turn. So you could do chess event yeah, as yeah. a pass or you and play could kind of do game. It, or you could do it against a random person or an AI or whatnot. Right. So right. yeah, that would be neat. I'd like Geeky's idea of getting different chess sets. Yep. Like you wouldn't have just the, the, the horror, just the orcs and the, the humans. You could have right. like Gnomes, gnomes, night elves, or... all of the different races, yeah. and then you could branch out, like have ogres and grons and uh, all sorts of yeah. burlocks. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I would play not? the heck out of burlock. How chess. about how about taking the farm element from Miss and making it like a Farmville app, but yeah. like it like it like it literally takes your farm from WoW and puts it in a mobile setting, so you can like plant stuff, you can harvest stuff, you can, you know, add land, all that cool stuff. I mean, I don't have a farm, so I don't know the extent of it, but I think I think that'd be neat. Get sixteen plots. Sixteen plots. Yeah. I think what they could maybe, do too is they could take maybe not combine them. Maybe just no. have like, maybe just have a, take the concept of it and build like a mini Farmville idea with it, where you're helping you, where you're literally controlling you and running around doing all of that stuff, but it's not actually connected to your own farm. Right. Because, I mean, that would be far too small to make an actual mobile well, game. And, and if, it's a Blizzard, if it's a Blizzard game, you know, you could, like, just like with Farmville or, or any of those other types of games, you know, your battle nut buddies, like, you could, like, give them a bushel of Juicy Crunch carrots or something. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You know, or, or you Which know, something like that. To their which they could feed to their Kodo or Mushin or whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. And they could give you something that you feed to your little cat. All right, Blizzard, take these ideas That's and right. run with them, and we want 30%. I know. No kidding. <laughs> they, they could also incorporate garrisons from the upcoming expansion and do something. Mm. It doesn't have to be the exact uh-huh. garrison from the game, but they could do something like... You know, there's, like, the old, old games where it's really, like, basic graphics and it's, like, two castles and all they, like, mm-hmm. send, like, little troops against one another or, like, they catapult. Oh, yeah. You know, like, something basic, like, fun like that would be really, mm. would be really clever, I think. Like, yeah, it would. I mean, and, and, you know, why not, you know, so. Yeah, all the fun can... little meta games actually mm-hmm. turn them into actual game games. <laughs> yeah. Well, right, you know, take, take that and, and have it be, like, you know, the, the, blizzard game app or blizzard game store app and and almost like they do with like midway arcade app, arcade app or some of those where yeah. when you Bunch buy it games, yeah. when you buy it you get you know a certain number of arcade old arcade games mm-hmm. but then you can buy like for a dollar get like another pack of like three or four old arcade games to play like the old atari you know or, uh, type games or arcade games you know why not do something like that with you know the Blizzard game app, you know, right. uh, yeah. have it be a bunch of mini games that's based off of the stuff we already have. Yeah, I think and that they would... could add to it and stuff like that. No, I could see that being a lot of fun. I think so too. So get on uh, Blizzard. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah, I, I think when Reb hears about all of this, she's just going <laughs> to be like. <laughs> Reb, you better be watching this in the future. Yeah, Reb, 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 you're part of this, so uh, you know we'll, we'll split the thirty percent we're gonna get from Blizzard. Oh. Uh, no, no, no. We, so we gotta up it to forty percent. So it's, it's, <laughs> oh, that's right. So it'll lose right, our Blizzard, share. Forty percent. So there you go. All we're asking is forty percent. All right, dude. Yeah, yeah. We, we got it. Right. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, thank you, uh, everybody, uh, for joining us this evening. Um, if you want to find out all things Blizzard uh, that is going on, uh, you can check out blizzpro.com. Uh, you can also follow Blizzpro on Twitter. It's at blizzpro. Uh, don't forget to check out, you know, besides uh, us here at the Spotlight, uh, they also have Twizcast, which is the official podcast of Blizzpro. Uh, there's also The Edge, uh, which is all things uh, class and spec specific. 
Uh, and then, of course, there's the new Hearthstone happy hour, which is Hearthstone and drinking. So if you want to watch Twiz get drunk really fast and make really bad decisions uh, against the advice of his co-hosts, uh, tune in every Monday uh, for PG-13 that. PG-13 on that. Uh, the what? PG-13 on that one. Yes. That yes. Is one yeah, is bit. probably not family friendly. No, that is not family friendly. Um, and, and don't forget to check out uh, Blizz Pro Weekly. It's not a live streamed show, uh, but uh, it, it is the best 15 to 20 minutes you will spend learning about news in a really fun way. Uh, so you can check out all of those things at blizzpro.com. Uh, if you want to get a hold of us here at the Spotlight, you can send us an email at spotlight at blizzpro.com. We would love to hear your thoughts, your opinions, questions. Uh, you know, if your girlfriend, you know, is is holding you back and won't let you play WoW or Diablo, uh, you know, we can help you out. We can help, you know, find uh, find a good median for you guys. Um, you can also follow us on Twitter. It's at Spotlight Capital P. Um, you know, there's a lot of ways to get a hold of us uh, or anyone at Blizz Pro, so check all of our stuff out. Uh, Geeky, how, what would you like to leave us with this evening, sir? Um, Twizcast this week mentioned the worldwide launch of Twisted Nation. And yes. they're doing old content leveling raiding experiences through Open Raid. Yes. Um, for more information, go to blizzpro.com. Um, or I'm pretty sure Twizcast's uh, latest mm-hmm. episode is on YouTube. So uh, it's pretty early in the episode. Uh, but basically, Alliance uh, on US Culturis. Um, you can start uh, leveling characters there. I know, I think the Open Raid people are taking charge of this yes. uh, primarily. Mm-hmm. But um, if you want to go through the rating experience from at level at level um, at level sixty and then work your way up, I think there's different. I don't know exactly how they're doing it, but I know they're trying to cover as much of all the old content as right. possible. Um, but yeah, BlizzPro.com, check it out. It's a really good thing. I think it's I think it's awesome. Oh yes. I mm-hmm. wish I would have known this a couple weeks ago because I would not have leveled a, the character I'm working on now on a different server. So. Um, but, but open yes. raid people are great. The open raid people are awesome. Yes, so. it's a yeah, good idea. Yeah. So yes, please check it out. Yes, uh, Sosa, what would you like to leave us with? Uh, nothing quite as interesting as geeky. Just remember, this is all the game. Have fun and always remember, Sosa loves you. <laughs> and as for me, Daro, uh, you know, it, it it's all a circus, um, which is why I'm the one driving the clown car. Um, you know, just. Uh, do what you do what you love. Have fun. It's a game, as Osa was saying. And uh, you know, don't be afraid to speak your mind. Uh, just be constructive about it. Uh, screaming and yelling with your tinfoil hat on the forums, as we found with Diablo. Yeah, avoid those uh, forums uh, this week. Um, you know, it's just not worth it. So thank you, everyone. We really, really appreciate uh, you tuning in. And Sosa, that is not iced tea. We know it's <laughs> rum. We can tell it's a bottle of rum. <laughs> Something. Cheeks are getting red. Cheeks are getting red. <laughs> yeah, it's rum. <laughs> it's right. Have it's a good my night, special everybody. mixture. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's iced tea. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> it was iced tea. It was at one point. All right, have a good night, everybody. Bye, guys. <laughs> good night. The forums. The streamers. The blog. I don't have any rum. <laughs> the gamer. No, I have all of the rum. The tweets. No, I the just streamer. like to tease people and make them the think that I'm players. drunk when I'm not. The I player. rarely, rarely, the rarely stay drinking. The, <laughs> the bad. The blogs. The good. The enthusiast. The spotlight. The spotlight. The spotlight. <laughs> <laughs>